hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello, how hello, are teacher. you? Thank you for being on time. <laughs> nice, ¿qué tal de fin de semana? So, did you enjoy the weekend? Did you do something nice, something funny? Hello, thank you for joining, um, Senia. Hi, teacher. Hello, thank you, welcome. Thank you for your camera, for the ones that already have the camera. We have uh, 12 participants right now. Faltan algunos que se sigan eh, uniendo. Thank you uh, for being on time. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Me dieron de vacación. Ah, okay. So, in that case, in that case, so tomorrow is like a normal day for you, right? So, vacations are over. But yeah, you, uh, yeah that, but that was a long weekend, okay? For Santa Necos was a long weekend. Um, do you work, Carla, in Santa Ana or uh, do you work here in San Salvador? No, teacher, I work in Santa Ana. Ah, okay. So, at least you don't have to travel because we have people that they travel every day from Santa Ana to San Salvador. That's a long, long, long um, yes. trip, okay? Long trip every day, but it's okay. It's okay. Nice. And which, which uh, beach did you visit? Which one in El Salvador? La Libertad. Ah, La Libertad. One of the best, yes. okay? One of the best, yes, I guess. Yes. Okay, nice. Thank you, Carla, for sharing something important that you didn't during the, your weekend, okay? Your holidays from Santa Ana. Nice. Let's see who else. ¿Quién más puede compartir algo que hizo, algo que comió, algo que cocinó, algo que ordenó para los que estamos en la casa, right? Ordenando algo, limpiando. Haciendo la, la tarea, trabajando en la plataforma. I don't know, something. Sandra, Sandra Evelyn, I see your face que usted hizo algo interesting during the weekend. I work a platform. Okay, you were working in the platform. <laughs> okay, but it's something it's nice finished. because you are learning. You finish everything? Yes. Oh, nice. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Nice. So, miren, ya está ahí. Set. Cuando yo le digo, it's set means like complete everything. Okay. You are done. Okay. Usted me puede decir, cuando usted termina la plataforma, usted puede decir, uh, I'm done. I'm complete. I finish. I end everything. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Sandra. Okay. Nice. Ya vamos a ver quiénes son. Los que todavía no han trabajado en la plataforma. Ahí me mandaron a decir, mañana me van a mandar la lista, la lista negra de quienes van atrasados. Pero este, esta semana usted tiene que estar terminando unidad 3 y unidad 4. Ok. Unit number 3 y unit number 4. Tiene que estar prácticamente complete. Ok, y este, la otra semana nada más dejar la unidad 5, si es posible, <coughs> pero lo ideal es que esta semana lo finalice todo. Eh, vamos nosotros aquí en la unidad 3 y 4, esta semana empezamos la, la unidad 4 también y la otra semana nos quedamos solo con la 5 y prácticamente un repaso los últimos días para ver qué Vamos a tener vacación, así que eh, se corta este módulo porque hay vacaciones, right? Pero yo les detallo bien, igual ellos de inglés corporativo siempre les, les mandan mensajitos en el grupo para que todos estén informados de los acontecimientos que se vienen. Pero sí, eh, vamos a tener una pequeña pausa. Acuérdense que eh, estos programas son prácticamente horario de gobierno, right, con Insafor. So ellos descansan, nosotros también tenemos que descansar a ley. Entonces, eh, pero igual eso nos va a ayudar.
para los que tal vez por algún motivo están un poquito así atrasados en la plataforma, poder uh, ponerse al día, poder trabajar y, y llegar al día. Cuando regresemos de vacaciones, todos deben de estar set, ok, I mean 100% complete in all the units, ok, que ya no le falte nada, que ya esté completito. Eh, bueno, so we are 18, I don't know qué les ha pasado, bueno, vemos 17 porque yo estoy conectada doble. Ahora sí ya vemos 18, Sofía Ábalos está conectándose, pero no sé qué les habrá pasado a los, a los demás. Me imagino que vienen conectándose, hay varios lugares donde está raining, ok, algunos me han escrito por ahí que no tienen electricidad, entonces... Eh, se les ha complicado un poco conectarse, um, pero esperemos pues que, que se puedan ir uniendo y este, podamos dar inicio, ¿ok? Ahí está Sara ya también, Sofía, ahí viene, just on time, Sofía, aquí llegando viene Sofía, ¿ok? Nice, uh, let's see, ¿alguien más que quiera compartir something about the weekend? What about you, Roxana Patricia? Roxana Patricia, did you do something interesting during the weekend? Uh, with my family in the house, relax. Okay, you were relaxing at home with your family, okay? Did you cook something special during the weekend? Do you Pizza. like? Ah, okay, nice, okay. So during the weekend, the, the kitchen is closed. Ponen un letrerito ahí, right? Sunday, so, Saturday, it's closed. So you need to call, you need to ask for food and everything, right? No cooking time. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, that, that's nice. And that way you can share, you can, you know, relax a little bit and enjoy with your family. That's the point. That's the good thing. What about you? Let's see, Sara Guzman. Welcome, Sara. Did you do something interesting during the weekend? Uh, my weekend, my weekend is in in my house. Um, I, no sé cómo decirlo en, en inglés. Um, haciendo mis cosas de casa. Okay. House house chores house house chores. Uh, those are like uh, actividades de la casa, okay? Usted me va a decir, mire, I was doing the laundry, I was doing the, I don't know, uh, dash, sacudiendo, cleaning, okay? Putting everything in the correct place. So house, house, house shorts, okay? House shorts son como las actividades de casa, okay? Los quehaceres del hogar, okay? So nice. Okay, no problem, Sara, but that's nice. Be at home doing everything. Okay, yo siento que el fin de semana, no sé por dónde pasa, la verdad. Too many things that we need to do and that we are running. And then suddenly it's Monday and we are kind of tired. Okay, very early in the morning, but it's Monday. Okay, ya aquí a estas alturas ya sobrevivimos el lunes, así que ya... We need to continue with the next day. Okay, nice. Okay, so uh, let me let me share the screen right now. And so this is the the um, presentation that we have for this week. Okay, so this is class number seven. Okay, so practicamente we are in the middle. Okay, we are in the middle of the program. Okay, this is the class number seven. Okay, so thank you for the ones that already sent the homework. He recibido tareas. I know que me hacen falta porque no están todas. Okay, but I still, I'm still waiting, okay, for a couple of you that haven't sent the homework. Okay, did you remember the homework? Para los que estuvieron aquí el jueves, You know what is the homework about? Alguien que no estuvo, tal vez no se ha dado cuenta que había una pequeña tarea. Okay. Pero thank you for the ones that already shared the homework. Okay. And if you haven't done, if you haven't completed your homework, you still have time. Todavía le voy a aceptar que 
que venga más tardecito a dejar su tarea, ok, no hay problema, ahí me lo manda, with your name, and that's not a problem, ok, so, I do have a couple of homeworks, ok, I was reading all your homeworks today, and I have ones that are very nice, ok, so algunos me han escrito hasta even more, ok, even more, even more grammar uh, structures, ok, algunos se han tomado el tiempo de escribir eh, extra, pues, de lo que estábamos pidiendo acá de my dream home or my dream house, ok, but it's nice, we have a few, a few issues with some grammar mistakes, ok, but at least the, the adjectives, ok, the words about the vocabulary about houses, uh, vocabulary about the parts of the house, about furniture. So that's nice, okay? So you mentioned even more words uh, for the ones that we saw in the class, okay? Allí me han mencionado algunas cosas como furniture que no las habíamos visto, but you know, okay? So that means that that's nice. You have good, uh, good um, um, vocabulary in that part, okay? So then with the verb to be, I don't see any problem. Probably we need to check on the uh, tenses, but remember that this is, ustedes están en el uh, beginner too, right? So todavía son válidos algunos eh, errores gramaticales en cuanto a los tiempos. Si estoy hablando en presente continuo, si estoy hablando en pasado, en future, pero eso todavía ustedes dentro de estos módulos no lo han visto, entonces está bien. Usted tiene que saber escribir con el verbo to be, que es lo que ustedes vieron en el módulo 1, y el presente simple. That's what we are doing right now. So if you have problems with the present continuous or past continuous or simple past or future, so no me he enfocado en eso because, sorry, we haven't covered that part yet, okay? So thank you for... for um, for your homeworks, okay? So, and I would like to have a one or two volunteers to read the the conversation, the paragraph, okay? Remember that the homework was write on a small short description about your dream home, okay? So let's see, let's see, Remberto, Alejandro, you, I already have your homework, okay? So could you please just, um, Read your homework, please. Just read it. No entiendo, teacher. Ok, estamos revisando lo, lo de la tarea. Ok, so do you have your homework with you? Tiene ahí su tarea. Ok. Just read it, ok. Léala. Mm. In my house of my dream is sample and over. Where is my mother and family? With a room, a last. And the room has TV, a TV, pardon. Mm -hmm. Feet, a TV, gluteny, sofa. Okay. And I does it. It have a a view lowly. Okay. And does it have a view a lowly view? Okay. En esa parte tenemos algunas eh, errores de position for the adjectives. Creo que más adelante les traigo una imagen donde viene el order de los adjectives. Okay. Um, that is something that you will learn, but in that case, we need to say this, this it, it has a lowly view, okay? So en inglés es como que le damos vuelta a las palabras, okay? En español nosotros decimos el carro rojo, but in English I said the red car, okay? Entonces como nosotros tenemos el español, tendemos a escribir así, pero en English los adjetivos van antes, Y en cambio en español, el adjetivo va después. Nosotros decimos el carro, 
bonito, grande, rojo, pequeño. Y empezamos, try a describir. In English, it's the other way, okay? We start with the adjectives y al final va el noun, okay? I say, the large and red car, okay? Entonces ahí este, hay que darle vuelta a los, a los adjectives, okay? So, let's see, Abigail... Uh, Abigail Villalta, so do you have your homework with you? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead and read it, please. Okay, my dream house is a big house with two floors, with five buildings and one large kitchen, with a lot of furniture. I want to have a big garden with a lot of flowers and a forest view. We put trees around of my house, like lemon, orange, and banana. Okay, thank you, Abigail. Yeah, I have it here, okay? Uh, your dream house is a big house with two floors and three bedrooms, and a big kitchen, a lot of furniture, a lot, also a large and large garden and different flowers, okay? Nice, okay, nice house. Okay, I wish you could will be able to get it, okay, nice. And the last one, thank you, Abigail. The last one is for you, uh, Samuel Davy. I don't know if you already sent your homework, Samuel. Samuel, did you send your homework? Damn it. Damn it. Yes, Okay, did you send Hello? your homework? Yes, my dream house is to live in house with a living room, do two room with their own back bathroom of the fifth level, a large garden full of fruit, greens, green, mm -hmm. and Good. an outdoor kitchen on the second floor, two rooms and large terrace with Osen we B. Osen we Osen we. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. So yeah, it's right here. My dream home. It's a two-level house with a living room, two rooms with their own bathroom on the first level, a large garden full of fruit, fruit trees, and outdoor kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so nada le pide a Samuel, view of the ocean. <laughs> Con una vista lo sea, no me quiere comprar un buen terreno, Samuel. Tiene que empezar a trabajar ya para ir a comprar ese terreno enfrente del océano. <laughs> okay, nice, but it's okay. So se vale soñar, decimos, right? Si no lo sueña, no lo logra. Okay. Probably, tal vez no, no le va a quedar tan enfrente del Flower. océano, pero con que le quede cerca ya hasta Z, ahí usted. <laughs> okay, nice. So, let's stop right here with the homework, okay, because we need to continue, but thank you one more time for the ones that already uh, sent the homework. Si alguien todavía no lo ha, no lo ha mandado por A o B motivo, so still you have, still you have the time to continue send it, okay? Ahí me lo pueden mandar. So this is a small review, okay? This is something that we already learned, the usage of there is and there are. Let's see, let's see Rosario, Janet del Rosario. Give me an example using there is, please. Give me a, an example using there is. There is a potato. There is a what? I'm sorry. There is a potato. There is a potato over there. Okay. So on a sentence, right? There is. Remember that we say that there is is just for one object. Okay. Let's see. Sonia Araceli, give me an example using there are. Por ejemplo, utilizando el there are. Yeah, there are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sería, they are 
Um, tables. Okay, in plural, right? There are four tables over there. Okay, there are four there tables are four in the tables. living room. <laughs> there are four tables in the house. Okay, so there are, okay, there are, there is. Okay, there is, it's just for one thing, and there are is for two, three, or more. Okay, so this is a small recap. Okay, esto ya lo habíamos hecho. Uh, I don't know if we check the answers on this. Remember que nos fuimos a los breakup rooms y creo que aquí nos quedamos, ¿verdad? O no sé si vimos las respuestas. Yo creo que aquí nos quedamos. ¿Alguien que me recuerde? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok. Teacher. So, por aquí nos quedamos, right? Por eso lo puse acá, yes. porque no, regres no logramos ya por el tiempo ver las answers, ¿ok? So, be ready with the answers, porque le voy a ir diciendo rapidito el nombre a alguien para que vaya dando las respuestas, ¿ok? So, Walter Wilfredo, number one. I'm sorry, letter eight in this case. It's letter eight. Walter Wilfredo, creo que tiene problema ahí para activar el micrófono. Ok, let me know, Walter, if you have a problem, o si no escucha bien. Eh, so, go ahead, Renberto Alejandro, letter A. There are um, 25 a student in the class. Thank you. There are 25 students in the class. Thank you. Xiomara Lopez, letter B. There is a hospital in the city center. Okay, thank you. There is a hospital in the city center. Okay, in the city center. Nice. Uh, Wendy Beatriz, letter C. I saw your message, Walter. I don't know what happened. Try to see if you can log out and log in. Tal vez okay. así le activa el, el micrófono, Walter, porque no sé por qué no le deja. Okay. So, go ahead. Uh, Xiomara. No, ¿quién le pregunté? Wendy. Um, Wendy. Wendy Beatriz, go ahead. The big supermarket near my house. One more time, I'm sorry. Léalo una vez más. There is a big supermarket near my house. Okay, perfect. There is a big supermarket near my house. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Lisette Esmeralda, letter D. Uh, there are two t-shirts in the room. Thank you. There are two t-shirts in the room. Nice. Uh, let's see, Roxana Patricia, letter E. E. There are 12 songs on the CD. Perfect. There are 12 songs on this CD. Okay, let's see, Jasmine Robles, letter F. Jasmine, you are on mute. There you go. Uh, there is a good film on TV tonight. Perfect. Hoy oh, sí, Jasmine, con esos new headsets. Hoy sí está usted en calidad en la, en la llamada. Ya no está gritando como le tocaba estar ahí. Nice. Eso está bien. Miren, eso se llama inversión. Ahora que van a estar en estas clases y piensan... Estar, porque después del módulo 2 viene el 3 y el 4 y después van otra vez al, al pre-intermedio este, y en son, son, tienen aquí ustedes como tres años de clases, ¿ok? Piensen ustedes en ir haciendo su, comprándose un su diccionario, los headsets, una su computadora, tal vez no sea tan, 
cara, ¿verdad? Último modelo, pero váyanse haciendo de sus cositas para que puedan recibir sus clases más cómodos, ¿ok? Pero ya, calidad ahí, Jasmine, hoy la escuchamos fuerte y claro, Jasmine, calidad. <laughs> ok, perfect. There is a good feel on the TV tonight. Uh, Sara Guzmán, letter G. Letter G. There, there are his friends. Perfect. There are his friends. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sofia Avalos, letter H. There is your mobile phone. Perfect. There is your mobile phone. Carla, letter I. There are a computer and TV in my room. Okay, there are a computer and TV in my room. Okay, there are two teams right there, right? Nice. Uh, Cindy, casi no la veo hoy, Cindy. La veo así como oculta. No se quiere dejar ver ahora. Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Marilu, okay, continue with letter J. There are seven books in my bag. Thank you, there are seven books in my bag. Uh, vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado. Eh, Samuel, one more time, Samuel, letter K. There is no, no homework today. Okay, there is no homework today, yes. homework. No There is no homework, homework today. Homework. Eso es mentira, porque sí hay tarea en la plataforma. Y dice que no hay tarea ahora, pero sí hay. Ok. There is a homework today in the platform. Ok. Nice. Let's see the next uh, exercise. And this one is filling the gaps using the is that are, are there or is there. Ok. So let's see. Sandra, number one. Sandra Evelyn. There is a big kitchen in my flat. Thank you. There is a big kitchen in my flat. Nice. Senia Patricia, number two. There are bedrooms in my house. Okay. There are two bedrooms in my house. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see. Number three, that will be for, um, let's see, let's see. A quien no le hemos preguntado. Eh, Tatiana López, Tatiana López, number three. Tatiana López. There is a book case in your room. In your room. Okay, remember that this one, Tatiana, this is a question. Mira, aquí está el question mark. ¿Cómo sería esta? There are. Uh -huh. There is. Number three. Is there uh -huh. a bookcase in your room? Perfect, okay. Is there a bookcase in your room? Ajá, Tatiana, hoy no me quería poner la cámara, pero ya la hice que la encendiera. No quería verse ahora, Tatiana. Nice, okay, yeah, this is a question, nice. Uh, let's see, next, 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 next. Walter, I don't know if you already have audio. ¿Ya le funciona el micrófono, Walter? No. Oh my goodness, I don't know what happened with your audio, Walter. Hoy sí. Se le ha dañado quizás ahí el, el micrófono, no sé, pero no, 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 le, no le desactiva. Si yo le doy aquí para ask to mute, creo que es, no, es su, es su micrófono porque no lo puedo quitar el mute. Ok, no problem, Walter, no problem. So, let's see, Xiomara López, one more time. Ya les pregunté, pero vamos a la segunda vuelta. Number four. Xiomara López. There are a chair at this in a wardrobe. wardrobe. The, the window. 
by the window. Thank you, okay? There are a chair, a desk, and a wardrobe by the window, okay? Están cerca de la ventana todas las cosas. That's by the window. Nice. Uh, let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver second time, Abigail, Villalta, number five. Are there three floors in your house? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a question, right? Are there three floors in your house? Nice. Okay, let's see. Sofia, quiero ver, no, Roxana, Roxana Patricia. Number six. Um, there are a living room, um, a dining room in my flat. Perfect. There are a living room and a dining room in my flat. So there are two teams right there. Nice. Uh, Jasmine Robles, number seven. Uh, five chair, chairs at the table. Okay, perfect. There are five chairs at the table. And the last one is for uh, Senia, Patricia. One more time, number eight. Go ahead, um, Senia Patricia. That is a question. Okay. Are there a bookcase on the on the wall? Mm -hmm. But it's it's just one, Senia. Bookshelf is just one. It's una librera. Ok, o una, una estante, una repisa, así decimos nosotros que ponemos en la pared, right? It's just one, ok? So if it is just one, it will be our dead or is there? Ok, thank you. Is there a bookshelf on the wall? Ok, it's just one, solamente es uno. Is there a bookshelf on the wall? Nice. So let's continue with the next, okay? Look at this picture that we have right here, okay? So please write sentences right now with this picture, okay? Vean esta bonita imagen. You have to create sentences with the objects in the picture, okay? So you can use prepositions, you can use colors, you can use a furniture, okay? So try to write sentences as much as you can, okay? You can say, oh, there is a, a small table in front of the chair. Oh, there is a uh, brown, no sé qué color ven ustedes el, 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 el armchair que está ahí. There is a nice, beautiful orange armchair. There are two books on the table. There is a beautiful lamp, okay? Uh, there is a roof, roof on the floor, okay? There is a green roof in the floor, okay? There is an iron, ahí está una, una plancha, right, tirada por ahí. So try to create sentences, create sentences, using the objects in the picture, okay? Vean ahí la imagen, hay varias cositas. So there is an apple right there. We have a computer, we have a, a desk, we have a TV. So try to create sentences as much as you can, please. Okay, Picture I would like. Okay. 
Which one? Esto que está como en el piso. Yeah, that's kind of uh, weird. Uh -huh. Yo lo veo así como una, una, una uh, CD player, right? Como una radio. Porque yes. aquí tiene para yeah. los, el, el, el cassette. So, algo así veo yo como que fuera una, una radio. Ok, let's see, volunteers. Aquí vamos a ir voluntarios, ok. So, volunteers, you can read the sentences that you have based on the picture, ok. Let's see, volunteers. You can raise your hand in the, in the Zoom. Ahí tienen la opción de raise your hand if you want to read your, um, your sentences, ok. Okay, so go ahead, uh, Sara, I guess, that's you. Okay, um, there are two books over of the table. Okay, there are two books on the table. Okay, perfect, yeah, there are two books on the table. Thank you, Sophia and then Senia. Okay, um, there, there is bed. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm sorry. In front, in front of iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, repeat it one more time, please. There are bed. Okay, there is, es solo una cama, right? Uh, okay, there is, there, is, there a, is bed. A bed, there is a bed. There is a bed. Mm -hmm. uh, in, from uh, iron, plancha. Okay, there is a bed okay. in front of the from, iron. Okay, there is the a bed okay. in front of the iron. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Sofia. Nice. Let's see Senia and then Wendy. Okay, Senia, go ahead. Senia Patrice. There, um, there is a sofa. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a red sofa. Algunos lo ven rojo, otros me van a decir, mire, yo lo veo café. Otros me van a decir, mire, yo lo veo anaranjado. Por ejemplo, on my phone lo veo rojo, pero aquí en la computer lo veo como orange, ¿ok? So, el color no importa como usted lo vea, right? So, but there is a red sofa, there is a orange sofa right there. Or armchair, remember que vimos en el furniture que ese le decimos armchair, los chiquitines, right? Nice. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Senia. Let's see. Wendy Beatriz, go ahead. Okay, teacher, there is a small TV. Okay, perfect. There is a small TV in the picture, right? Ahí alguien puede decir en la imagen, hay un televisor por ahí pequeñito, okay? Thank you, Wendy Beatriz. There is a small TV in the picture. Aha, uh -huh, what else? Volunteers, raise your hand ahí en la, en la aplicación de Zoom. Ustedes tienen ahí la opción de levantar la mano, okay? So, Lisette Esmeralda, then Carla, okay? So, Lisette, go ahead. There is an apple on the table. There is an, an apple, okay? An apple, on, an the apple table. on the table. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see. Carla, then Cindy, and then Sonia. Go there ahead. Is a lamp. There is a lamp next to the bed. Perfect. There is a lamp next to? The bed. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. Nice. Let's see Cindy and then Sonia. There is a sofa next to bed. 
Okay, there is a sofa next to the bed. Okay, there is a sofa next to the bed. Nice. Uh, let's see, Sonia, Arely. There, there is a ray on the table. There is a. There is a what you say a red. On the table. Okay, so there is a desk. Okay, ¿Qué es lo que menciona? Repeat it one more time. La taza. Ah, hey. there is there is a cup. La taza. Okay. Cup. There uh -huh. is a cup of coffee. Or no sabemos qué, but sumamos que es una. There is a cup of coffee in the table, right here on the table. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Nice, Sonia. Let's see, Janet del Rosario, and then Sandra. There is a computer on the desk. Perfect. There is a computer on the desk. Thank you, Janet. Sandra, go ahead. There is yellow lamp. There is a yellow lamp. Okay. Wow. There is a, a yellow, yellow, mm -hmm. a yellow a lamp yellow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the picture, right? There is a yellow lamp in the picture. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, alguien más? Somebody else wants to participate with the sentences? No more? Okay, Jasmine, go ahead, Jasmine. You are on mute right now, Jasmine. There you go. There is a bed between a sofa and a small table. Perfect. Okay. Between those prepositions, right? There is a bed between the armchair or sofa and the small table. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Jasmine. Nice. So let's continue. Okay. We need to continue. No sé. La hora creo que se me está yendo. Nice. Okay. So let's see. We have right here. Um, we have right here the lesson objective. Okay. We are about to start a new uh lesson objected okay so let's see let's see um sandra evelyn help us with the reading please by the end of this class you will the 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 back no mm -hmm. the very the the bit look skin in the scanning and reading for the time. Thank you, Sandra. Nice. Okay. It okay. says right here, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Okay. So develop skills. Esto creo que ya lo hemos mencionado en, en objetivos anteriores. Okay. Desarrollar habilidades. Okay of in scanning okay cuando usted tiene un párrafo y usted lo va medio leyendo ahí that would be a scanning okay a scanning and uh, reading for details okay vamos a leer un poquito aquí and we have this uh, small reading this one is two special houses in the american southwest okay two special houses in the american Southwest, ok, vamos a ver qué tienen de especiales estas dos casitas que están aquí en el en el uh, en la lectura. Uh, let's see. Eh, Carla, help us, please. Help us with the reading, ok. Try to read this one. This is right here. We have two, two small readings, ok. I don't know, si lo logran ver, es lo más grande que podía ser ahí la imagen. And it says, scan the article, where is Mrs. Cisneros house and where is Mr. Nelson house? Vamos a ver dónde están estas casas y por qué son special houses, okay? In that area, okay? So Carla, go ahead and read, please, this one, uh, the one that is Mrs. Cisneros, this one. Okay, teacher. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous, famous for her interesting stories. 
The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Miss Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too, is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it. Thank you, perfect. Nice pronunciation, Carla, nice. Okay, so let's see, this is a, a nice house, okay? Algunos probablemente van a decir, no, a mí no me gusta esa casa así tan colorica, right? Pero this is her house, okay? So she is in San Antonio, Texas, okay? And this is a purple house, okay? So it's a purple house. And it says right here that uh, is her house. She is an, uh, a Mexican American writer. She is famous and uh, for interesting stories. Okay, so ella es una escritora, verdad? Una writer. And it says right here that uh, she is famous because of her stories. Okay, the house has a porch. Okay, ahí donde ella está acá, esto sería el porch. Okay, so the porch is with pink floor, imagine piso rosado, ok, para los amantes de los colores está bonito, Ay, diría que bonito, pero bueno, so, imagine las rooms son green, pink and purple, so, very, very different colors, so, there are many books and colorful, colorful paintings, ok, colorful sería como coloridas, right, coloridas, uno dice, Bien colorico anda vestido, means que anda cinco colores en la ropa, la combinación, right? Parece payaso, dice usted. So that is colorful, okay? Paintings, okay? Many other houses near Mr. Mrs. Nero's house are bright or beige, okay? Imagínense en el vecindario todas las casas así como blancas y grises, beige, y llega a la de ella y el montón de colores, right? So some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros love it. Okay, a ella le encanta esa casa así toda colorica. Okay, nice. Now let's read the other story. Okay, let's see the other story. Vamos a ver, le vamos a pedir aquí a que nos ayude con la lectura. Se me fueron las cámaras, no sé por qué. Eh, ahí me están apareciendo nuevamente. Creo que es la el inter, no sé. Ok, uh, let's see, vamos a ver. Que estrene bien los headsets, Jasmine Robles, ok. Que es darle uso a esos headsets nuevos, ok. So, go ahead, uh, Jasmine, you need, you need to read this one, ok, Mr. Mrs., Mr. Nelson. Every, every, Years, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. 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 Right. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called hogans. Uh -huh. Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two bells on the floors, and a wood burning stove. Miss Mr. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American tradition. Ok, thank you, Jasmine. So, definitivamente, esos headsets están, pero calidad. Le escuchamos, pero es que fuerte y claro, Jasmine. Nice. Ok, nice. So, it says right here, every year, many people visit Arizona, ok, to learn about the Native American tribes. Ok, esto de las Native American tribes, esto de tribes son tribus, ok. Eh, cuando fue la conquista de Estados Unidos, di, se dice la historia, ¿verdad? Que ellos venían unas tribus en colonias, ¿ok? Esas son las Native American tribes, y iban así nómadas, ¿verdad? Conociendo. Entonces, es right here that most people stay in hotels. So, la mayoría de gente que va ahí 
lo normal es irse a un hotel, ¿verdad? De vacaciones, qué sé yo. Ok, but it says right here that, uh, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, ok? Called uh, Hogan's. O sea, mire, este es el hotel. Imagínense ustedes pagar mil dólares por una noche y se quedar en una cueva ahí. Ok, pero bueno, that's culture, ok, así que sí. Ok, this is Lorraine Nelson, así se llama, es un maestro de Arizona. Ok, and he says that he invites visitors to stay in her Hogan's. Ok, esta es la de él, la casa de él, y él los invita para que se hospeden y se queden ahí. Ok, ¿qué tiene? Mire, se ve así bien feyito y pequeño, pero it has three chairs, ok, tiene tres sillas. Two beds on the floor. No crea que es una cama capri, así como la que usted tiene. ¿eh? Colch volado de piedra en el piso, quizá, right? On the floor. And a wood burning stove, ¿ok? Una cocina de esas de leña que usted la tiene que encender, ¿ok? Pero dice que Mr. Nelson teaches her guests about the Native American traditions, ¿ok? Lo que él hace ahí es contarles la historia, right, de los American Native Traditions, probably personas que están interested in culture se emocionan en esa casa, right? So, let's see if we get uh, the idea of this reading. Questions so far? My goodness, time is seven, seven minutes, okay? Siempre se me va el tiempo. Okay, so do we have new words or something que no queda claro, alguna palabrita? En estas uh, dos pequeñas lecturas que tenemos acá. Everything is clear? Okay. Nice. So let's continue. We have another uh, lesson objective. Okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Abigail Villalta, please help us one more time with the reading, please. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you will also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Okay, thank you, Abigail. Nice. By the end of this class, uh, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. Okay, so occupations, okay, jobs, it's, uh, the, it's uh, activities, right? So, ya vamos a ver, aquí les traigo algunos yo. Additionally, you will also practice or uh, describing uh, the activities that different jobs do. Okay, so vamos a ver un poquito de las profesiones, ocupaciones, decimos en español, right? Los trabajos, jobs. Okay, let's see what we have right here. Uh, we have right here jobs and occupations, okay? Probably algunos de ellos usted va a decir, ay, ese yo ya me lo puedo. Ok, probably algún otro va a decir, ah, ese no me lo podía. Ok, so we will see, remember that in, in the book, ahí en la plataforma, tienen unos. Tal vez no todos estos, yo he puesto unos cuantos más. Ok, so but let's see together. Ok, we have right here, we have a teacher. Ok, so I'm an English teacher. So this is a teacher. We have a soldier. Ok, we have a soldier right here. Uh, we have a scientist, scientist, okay, scientist, okay, we have a waiter, waiter is a guy, it's for a man, we have a waitress, that's for a lady, okay, aquí nosotros decimos mesero, mesera, right, así, mesero, mesera, waiter, if it is a, guy, a man, and waitress, if it is a lady or it's a woman, okay, we have a worker, Ok, a worker, este sería como un construction, right? Un, de esos que trabajan en, en construcción, so esos son los workers, ok, los workers. Uh, we have a painter, ok, un painter, es una, un, un trabajo, una ocupación, aunque no lo veamos así. En otros países, pues es un, un trabajo, right? Una occupation be a painter. We have a policeman and we have a policewoman. Ok, policeman, policewoman. Y en otros libros ustedes van a ver que dice police officer. It's ok, if usted dice police offers, officer. No sabemos si es un hombre o una mujer, pero es un policía, right? So policeman, 
y aquí ya se refiere cabal a un caballero, en policewoman, ya una mujer policía, right? Then we have right here a cleaner. Cleaner. Normalmente nosotros a esta persona le decimos el mantenimiento, persona de mantenimiento. En algunos libros ustedes lo van a ver como janitor. Janitor. Nosotros eso no lo decimos así, pero en las películas en Estados Unidos le dicen conserje. Ok, el conserje, el que anda haciendo la limpieza. Nosotros aquí decimos el de mantenimiento, el señor de la limpieza. Así decimos, right? But that is a cleaner. Es como un, una persona de mantenimiento, right? Que is on charge of be uh, cleaning. We have a cook. Okay, we have a cook, we have a doctor right here. We have also a football, footballer, okay. Aquí el libro así lo pone, footballer, pero ustedes en otros libros tal vez lo pueden encontrar como soccer player, football player, o solo player, jugador, right, player. We have a fireman. En otros libros lo pueden encontrar como fire, fire. Fire, fire, or fireman, okay, that means bombero. Farmer, okay, it is a job, it is an occupation, farmer, granjero, right? Una persona que trabaja en el campo, so that's like a farmer. Explorer, so creo que nadie, te, no tenemos ese tipo de trabajo aquí, o bueno, al menos no es algo común. Un explorador, una persona que ande haciendo ahí, eh, Búsqueda de alguna cosa de la historia, right? So we have an engineer. Engineer is for both. Can be un hombre, can be una mujer, is engineer. And we have a driver, okay? A driver. En algunos libros ustedes van a ver que dice bus driver, taxi driver, truck driver, dependiendo qué maneja, right? But in general, we have a driver right here. And I guess that I have more. Yeah, I have more right here. Look. Eh, viene otro poquitito más aquí. So we have right here a hairdresser. 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 Eh, para los hombres le, le van a decir like barber, barber dresser, barber shop. De la barbería, right? That's a barber. Okay, then we have a housemaid. Housemaid. En algunos libros ustedes lo van a encontrar como housekeeper. Housekeeper. Or housemaid es ama de casa, right? La persona que anda limpiando lo, la casa, right? That's a housemaid or that can be a housekeeper. We have a judge. We have a judge. Judge. Este es el juez, right? El judge. We have a lawyer. Okay, lawyer is for both, si es hombre o mujer, lawyer, okay, no hay para un masculino o un femenino. We have a musician, we have a musician, we have a news reporter, news reporter, we have a nurse, we have a director, photographer, 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 we have a pilot, pilot, politician, Ok, aunque no lo crean, es una profesión, politician, que mejor no digo nada, right? Politician, ok, so we have right here a postman, postman, este, el cartero, ¿verdad? Nosotros no tenemos así como que un cartero como que nos venga a dejar cartas, más que todo nos vienen a dejar recibos, right? El cobro de las facturas, ok, but that is like a postman, un delivery man, Una persona que anda entregando cosas, right? We have a receptionist and we have a repairman. Este repairman lo pueden encontrar también como plumber, plomero decimos nosotros, right? Plumber. We have a sailor right here. Este sailor es como un polist, pero un marinero, right? Uno de la marina. And the last one that we have right here is a tour guide tour guy, ok, el tour guy es este, la persona que es, anda dando los viajes, right, so ahí de que 
cuando hay alguna guía turista, so este es el tour guide. So, uh, we are going to stop right now because time is over, okay? But we are going to continue tomorrow. Mañana vamos a ver si hay alguna palabrita que tal vez usted no la conocía acerca de los occupations, jobs and occupations. But uh, the time is over, okay? Please don't forget to work as much as you can in the platform. Tenemos que terminar esta semana para que usted tenga vacaciones sure. de verdad. Go ahead. Okay. Teacher, uh, I have a question. In the platform uh, and the book and the student, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't have, you don't have like a student book. En la plataforma, en otros cursos sí hay como un libro. En este no tenemos un libro. Solamente son los ejercicios de la plataforma. No hay que completar otros ejercicios como en otros módulos que... Eh, les ponen otro trabajo extra. En el caso de este módulo, solo es el trabajo de la plataforma. Ok, Sofía, no problem. So, los dejo porque tengo que moverme a la otra clase. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining the class. And I'll see you tomorrow, ok? Please, trabajemos en la plataforma si alguien no va por la unidad 3-4. Ok, so si ya terminó como Sara, como Sandra, perdón, nice, perfect, bye. ok, thank you, bye bye, bye. bye take care, bye. Uh -huh. bye. bye, bye, bye.